Last session we started after the resurrection of Oracus. We. Eh? We are. My thing. Join. It wasn't Watch. last session. Yeah, join. Okay, well, yeah, well, we. we well, the previous session we resurrected Oracus, and after that we uh, secured the city for. Uh, we made sure that the vampires were not gonna, were not gonna continue the great hunt in that location uh, of the city and thankfully enough we we it seems like they left because we noticed a bunch of bats flying out of the mansion and so it looks like we're clear on that part now this is coming off of um uh Seyfried also telling us about uh the hollow court and their their interest in the fey wilds and uh, we decided to tie up loose ends in a lock before leaving. The main loose end being the fact that the Night Diamond still exists, the thing that controls, that can control and alter the will of... Uh, well, we don't know this, but yes, it, I think something to do with altering the will of what Seyfried can do and what he can uh, accomplish or do under his own control, his own will. So, um, I think we... We we went to go and visit the house, right? With the old, supposedly an old man inside, the same old man that um, we that was it. Cipher, you were scared of? Or was that just a joke? You were scared well, of this. Well, let's old not man. let's not go with scared. Okay, well, uh, intimidated. yeah, intimidated by this old man and this. And uh, we decided to enter the house and we realized that it belonged to this... Well, it didn't belong to him, but it was being lived in by this person who was under like a spell. And he had a terrarium in front of him. Inside the terrarium lived little tiny creatures that we could see from the outside. Um, the man, we couldn't figure out how to wake this person out or what he was even you know, being controlled by and while we were investigating, there was a knock on the door in this um, uh, of the house and uh, it was uh, Mr. Praxis who came in with a well, who came in with a little lady, a little girl who wielded a hammer and this little girl even though she seemed very young, she's supposedly or looks to be very powerful being able to put Oracus, Corvus and Cyphrid under a spell of some sort that turned them very tiny and put them inside the terrarium they didn't turn tiny okay well they were put inside the terrarium some way in some way and inside the terrarium they found creatures or things that didn't speak any known language their own language that wasn't common and it was something that you know even I, I don't know like they had trouble communicating with these creatures in this time in this terrarium environment and there they are inside the terrarium being very small trying to look for the old man or trying to find out what the hell is going on and how to get out and that's where we left off I feel like it's very crap representation of what actually happened at the terrarium, but okay. At the end of last session, uh, as you discussed your uh, plans to perhaps engage in a intelligent conversation with a very large uh, lizard-like creature named Bubbles, away from the ears and eyes of a small boy uh, dressed in shabby looking leaf and vine like clothing named Mukafilf. I'd like you to continue your plans or what would you like what the three of you like to do next? Uh Bourbon will jump to you in at a certain point. Uh wait, so I'm just trying to remember where exactly we left off. You last left off when Cyfrid said, let's go and find Bubbles. Yeah, let's and our plan was him. to just approach him on the ground, right? So that we can run away if things go south. Mm -hmm. 
I'll do just that. Try to like, get on the trail of bubbles. When I'm close enough. Um. I will cast uh, speak with animals. Try to get the attention of bubbles. Bro, oh, give me a second. Please tell me you have a dinosaur onesie when you turn on the camera. Uh, Vervan can see, right? I disabled lighting. Yes, I can see. Alright. You may proceed! I Probably have a question. Scared. Yes, you have a Why question. Why is there a map? Why do we need a map for this? <laughs> yeah, suddenly I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, why do you need a map for this? I I I, I don't know. I don't know. Why, why yeah, we we just RPing, right? Uh huh. <sighs> Hello there. Stop. Are you approaching? Would you like M. to approach? M. I go right up here. All right. The T Rex looks at you and lets loose a deafening roar. It's not a roar. Us... I understand him. <laughs> Okay, the raw says food. So not food. Friend of your master. Okay. <laughs> master. No friend. Bubbles friend. Master's friend. Friend's friend. What friend? Bring bubbles for more food. More food. Outside. Where? Outside. Outside here. Food. Now you see he stamps his hoop beside you, and you can see literally the ground starts to shake beneath your feet. As it takes one step. Closer to you. I will take one step back, but this outside the map. <laughs> um, what do I have to cast? Humanoid only. Nope. Can't do that. Um, don't have this spell. And then he kind of like look he, you see he kind of like reaches his jaw kind of like reaches down towards his face like it's more <clears throat> very close to yours and you can see this thick slimy mucus dripping would, from his teeth would you say that any of the kind of travel supplies on me would include any kind of jerky or whatever was it Hopefully all like poss bread? Or... Possibly would, yes, dried dried meat of some sort. <clears throat> I'll take like a a, sh a full day's portion for men and then like a toss it at bubbles. He kind of like looks at it, very confused, licks it with his huge tongue. <laughs> No, blood. Where blood? Bring us to your Where friend. Where moon? Bring us to your friend, and then we will have more blood and bone. Don't have it here, bro. Bring blood. Bring bone. Bring us to your friend first. Bring blood and he stamps his foot angrily. Mm, I do not back down from this. We don't have it now, but we will. 
while this is going on, I will need uh what's your passive perception like right now, Corvus and uh and uh or Orcus? Uh seventeen, but I don't know if the exhaustion affects it because I got disadvantage on ability check. Mine's fourteen. Probably make you do a perception check then Oracus at disadvantage. Alright. Uh fourteen you will notice this very small boy crawling on the tree branch above you hovers. <laughs> A fucking token image there. Uh, I'll nudge Oracus and I'll point out. I don't turn my head, I'll just look up. He has a spear in his hand and he's getting ready to throw it. And you can see he has a bow on his back. Oh. Can I see if uh Bubble's attention is solely on Cypher, yes. Cypher, right? Mm. I will, can I shadow step up? Yes. I will do that and push his spear down. Bubbles! I'm just gonna Oh, okay. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Okay, 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 okay. He nods vigorously. Yeah. Bubbles? Yeah! He, that's the killing motion. Again. Okay, 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 okay. You can see he's getting very excited, he's like hopping up and down on the branch. Okay, back to Cypherit. Um, yeah, I'm standing my ground. If I sense that Bubbles is going to turn hostile, then I ready a spell. He's getting very frustrated with you. Right now. Okay, I will, I will use command while under the effects of Speak with animals. Okay. Uh, the word I choose is cooperate. Okay. Uh, do I uh, and I'll say next. Uh, calm down. Bring us to friend. Oh. <clears throat> He lowers his head. Uh, I'll friend. quickly... Friend! Friend! I'll quickly gesture to uh, Oracus and Vivian to like, come see, forward. You, can, you see almost like his uh, Corvus and Oracus look from far, you see like Barbosa's pupils dilate suddenly and there's almost a s acute sense of awareness suddenly, almost a sense of intelligence that suddenly befalls this wild creature as he instinctively kind of like bends over and allows Cypher to kind of like stroke his maw mm. I'll, I'll, I'll mount up and oh, like oh, 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 oh. quickly oh, gesture to Arkasim you see Mukafu yeah. jumps off the tree and you see Mukafu running towards the bubbles with his spear no no oh. if I see that I'll, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll tackle shoot. him okay if, You'll shoot him. If Oracus doesn't manage to tackle, I'll shoot. Oracus need to make me an athletics check. Small boy shouldn't be quite strong, right? There's a disadvantage, right? Yep. Yeah, this guy's gonna get shot. Okay. Not aiming anywhere little, probably like the knee or like a hamstring. Alright. Wait, does he fail? Does he pass? Yeah, that's in the acrobatic check. Okay. 
Athletics. That hits. Yeah. The arrow sinks through his left leg, uh, crippling him as he falls to the ground. He yelps out in pain. Yes! I, I quickly Mugafil! shout to Mugafil! I I shout over there and say like hurry the spell won't last. Yeah, I'll I as if I walk past him I'll just throw him like a I'll open the potion and then I'll just like stuff it in his mouth and then I'll walk away. What potion? Uh it's a greater healing, it's the only one I have. Wow! Okay. You give him a greater healing potion? Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure he mm. like ingests it because I'm pretty sure he doesn't understand what this is. Okay. I'll just give him a resigned look and move on. Oh, give, oh, give me no! Oh, oh, check it out! Mumbles! No! Oh, oh, oh! Check it out, Mumbles! No! Oh! He seems like desperate, like he does not want you to go with Bubbles for some reason. I don't know how to say this, I'm sorry, but we have to find the old man. If you can't bring us there, we have no choice. Hurry! Then just leave. Do my party members get, get on? Yep. How long does command last? One round or until the action is uh, completed. I leave the spell. Technically, the action is completed, right? Hmm. Yeah. So I have to recast it. But okay. Would Would my body members be able to mount on time? Probably yes. Okay. Um. Do you want us to do this in initiative? Because if I have one spell slot left and I need to use my bonus action to get another spell slot if this one fails. We'll say everybody climbs back on and then I get you all to roll initiative now. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Do I have to roll? As no. well. <laughs> okay. As you all climb back on the back of the T-Rex, he's going to try to shake all of you off. Fair enough. You may make me a... Uh... Let's go with athletics to hold your grip on the, 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 the beast. Contested. Uh, so the amount of strength he's shaking you off with will be 23! No man. Yeah, nah. Okay, all three of you go flying off. We'll say... Uh, drop uh, around here. Let's say you fall. 1d10 bludgeoning, so all can take 1d10 bludgeoning first. You make the roll Wait. or we make the roll? You just go ahead and make the roll. Sure. Oh hell yeah, that's a good roll. For... I can reduce 4 damage, I use my reaction to reduce 4 damage by yeah. 5 times of my monk level. Alright, so Oracus is gonna take any damage. Uh starting with Oracus then, let's go. Oh, what can I do? I can I make a animal yeah. handling check? I don't Try. attack him. So I'm just trying to Wait, but you need to tell me what you wanna do first. How you wanna handle this is, is his... currently raging out of control. Is his eye still like dilated or no oh. longer? You can see there's a sense of like madness and anger in his eye now, realizing what has happened. 
What, he realized what has happened? When he felt the three of you on top of him. Oh. I'm just gonna look as unthreatening as possible, but I don't want to appear weak or like food. Just trying to, you know, signal to him that we are not enemies, but we're not prey either. Okay. Uh, please. Please. Oh god. It does not appear to have any effect as the beast just bears his more and roars at you in anger. Corvus, you up. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, I guess I would like, dart away a bit, just like maybe just a bit of distance. But then I'll, I'll hold my action to attack, but I'll call to Cypher and say, well, what's the plan now? I think you should both try to get on and then I'll command him to go home and we hang on for dear life. Mm. Uh. Direction? Yeah. Over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figure up. Uh, I'm gonna try and hang on to the creature. Climb up now, basically. Yeah. Or like maybe just a limb or the little legs. You can make me either athletics or acrobatics check to climb, scale him. Oh my gosh, my rolls eh. Uh, you do manage to get a bit up the leg, but not all the way up to his mm. back. So like your mid climb <coughs> right now. Remember, it is very very tall. But it's something I can hang on to, right? Yeah, something like a, like a like a like a kind of like a part of like the rough part of the skin that you can okay, kind of grab onto. Uh, it's turn. He's gonna. Oh, he oh that was my speed. action, is it? Yeah. Uh, I'll use bonus action to harness divine power. Get a spell slot back. Okay. Sorry, what happened? Is it is the direct the T Rex's turn? And he's gonna walk up to you, Oracus. With Cyphric clung clinging onto him, he is going to try to bite you. Uh, okay. You cannot see. 19. Mm -hmm. it, it hits. Okay. And then after he's gonna swing his tail and as he. Oh, 14 doesn't hit, right? 14, no, but I cannot see the damage. Yeah, private rolling all the way. Oh, private <coughs> rolling. Shit. Okay, it is 20 for the bite. Yeah. Oof. The tail misses. Okay. You see, kind of... You see, it kind of like... Sinks. It barely glances off you, but uh, one or two teeth kind of graze you. And you can see it leaves these long gashes in your arm. As it tries to tear your arm completely off, you manage to pull out of the way in time, but not before it kind of leaves this long, uh, kind of cut along your upper, your upper like bicep. Ah. Uh... You see, it kind of sweeps its tail across. It kind of turns around, sweeps its tail across, just before the tail kind of collides with your chest. You manage to leap over it just in time. Right. I'm getting really frustrated. I just died and now I'm have to deal with this stupid dinosaur. Right, hang on. We have to go after this. Otherwise we have to start fighting. Uh okay, out of character, can I Am I able to shadow step up? Uh yes. Okay, I want I wanna try. Shadow step up to his back near his neck. I'm gonna Okay, let me think. Let here? me think this through. Wait, 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 hold on. Uh, let me think this through. How is he like entirely smooth? Is there any anything like I can? No, there like yes, like uh, like spikes and like this. Uh, this this the scales and stuff that you can grab grab onto. Oh. Would you say it's possible that I use a rope, anchor it to one of the spikes, and then try and swing over to the other side and try to create like a? 
leash or harness or if you want to put a spike in, uh, you have to literally nail it into his flesh. No, uh, not nail. I, I wanna. I don't know. Tie the rope. To his scale. It's something like that. It will be a bit difficult. Like... If you want, you can have a like a large. If you have a nail or something, you can okay. nail it into his flesh, and then you can attach a rope to it. Uh, Cypher is where now? Just at the bottom. The bottom part. Still at the bottom. No, on, on, yeah. on his leg. Yeah. Let me think, how can I do this? Oh, I think I only need assistance. Okay, I'll just like, shadow step up to his... His back neck. first. Yeah, his back okay. first and then I'll try and hang on. Alright. Corvus? Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll just have a running start and I'll try to like leap and climb on it as well. Okay. Uh, okay, make me an athletics or acrobatics check. Okay. Sure, oh my god. You leap and you kind of lose your balance slightly, but you do manage to leap up and catch the same leg as Cypher and you manage to cling on to him. Uh, before he kind of like takes another step. Okay. Yeah, but uh, around the same area, Cypher. Okay, Cypher, you up? Okay, do I feel like it would be easier to try and climb up or hang on to the leg? Like, how much of a purchase do we have on the leg? Do we have like a full two arm lock on it, or? You have a two arm lock on it, but the 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 feeling you get is that the moment he starts moving at a very high speed, you're not going to be able to cling on to it. Okay. Um. Just like. All this know that we should probably try to climb higher. I'm going to thrown off if we if I try to make him go home now. Um, I will try to climb higher. Okay. I got a rope with me. Can... can I lower the rope for them? I got uh, on rope. your turn, yes. Okay. I I'll I'll, I'll attempt the athletics check. Okay. Not using the rope. Oh my goodness, <laughs> can't be real eh. Uh, you managed to scale up to his like butt area. Before he kind of shakes, he shakes slightly and you, you fall back a bit but you are almost at his tail now. Right. But you managed to grab on and like not fall off. But it's taking all of your effort to, to stay on this creature. Alright. Oh, he's gonna shake again. Yeah. Now, he's, now that he sees all of you are off, he's going to try and shake all of you off again. So we'll put Corvus here first. Corvus is on. That will be athletics check, boys. Yeah. This fucking roll there. Eh? I, I can't even... Yeah, I auto fail, yeah. I'll auto fail. There's no way I can make it. Okay. Yeah, let's kill this bit of shit, man. Tired. Alright, 1d10 boys. Uh, same thing, I guess. Yep. Watch me roll a 10 again. Hey! Oh, hey! You. Oracle? Can you it? I look at Cypher. Let's just go. Sub deal? Yeah. Uh, let me see. How do I want to do this? I would assume that he will not be able to easily attack me if I'm on his back, so I'll do the same thing, I will shadow step up again to his back. Okay. I'll try and stun him from the from his neck. Okay. Uh I'll swing at him I guess. Maybe you should have oh, stunned shit. If you stun him, it would have been oh a lot easier to climb and do everything but <laughs> I didn't want to be hostile, but Aww. Uh, it's supposed to be with advantage. Let me try and fish for a crit. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, oh my god! Value. That's a crit. Uh, okay. Then I'll expand one die to... Stun. Okay. DC is... Yeah, let me find it. 
15. Save. Second attack. No, 12 does not 12 hit. Doesn't? 12 does not hit, sorry. I thought it hits. Let me see if I can do something about it. I do have focused aim. Should I use it? Okay, I'll expand one extra key die to increase the attack roll by 2. Okay, it hits. And okay, I'll stun him again. Okay, then I'll stun him will, again. I will roll, I just roll it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is rough. You plunge the sword twice into his neck, and there's a yelp of raw pain that like goes throughout the jungle. You can see a lot of like animals just you see birds flying away from the trees all around you as you as this battle unfolds. And if you're watching from outside Vervan, you can see almost you can see this you can almost that hit it <laughs> sound from this like small creature, like a very yelp yelp like a yelp of pain. Do I even see anything? Or like you hear this <laughs> And then you see the kind of like the lizard re uh rears its head back. The the pain causes it to, to kind of like pause temporarily, uh, almost as if it's done, but it kind of shakes shakes it, it off and uh, resumes what it was doing. Covers you up. Oh. Are we going? Are we, are we, are we actually... Yeah, yeah, I just want to say, I'm not trying to kill him, so... Non we can and him to turn yeah. tail. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, sure, I'll, I'll just... I'll... I'm gonna stay near. No, I don't. Yeah, I'll, I'll back off, like... 15 feet, and then I'll shoot my two arrows. And okay. Wow. That... hits. Wow. Oh, okay. I also get wow. This rolls eh. Holy <laughs> shit! Uh, I also get a sneak attack. Hold on, where is it? Okay. The arrow sinks into one of its uh its neck. The two arrows sink into its neck, and you can see it instantly he kind of retches and uh flails around. Uh, I need. Uh, Orcus, you're standing on top of him to make me yes. an athletic. Yeah, thank you. Oh wow. You need to make the roll right now, though, whether I can even pass. Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I need two crits for this to work. Yeah, nah. Okay. You are thrown off again. Where okay. do I land? Uh, you don't take damage, now 1d10, right? Yeah. Okay, so I fit. Um, you see me cast a spell, and there's this uh, mantle of leaves, kind of like, extending into a long cape, and spectral leaves uh, falling, start to fall and materialize, and from now onwards, every time someone does like a weapon swing or lose an arrow, See they kind of like the leaves accelerate behind the the arc and leave uh, many small cuts. Uh, wow, really? Uh, that's right. I'm a Pokemon now. As I cast Crusader's Mantle. Hell yeah! Oh, I get to put thirty. Yeah, so everyone basically, you can ignore the damage, but everyone gets one d four extra. That will be my action. All right. I will not uh, use 
bonus action. Uh, I will not use my bonus action this time. Yeah. Alright, T-Rex will, after shifting you, will charge towards you, uh, Oracus. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, no. Holy Oof. shit, that's a lot of damage. Yes, that's a hit. <laughs> Second one doesn't. Okay, so it's 36. Piercing. Jesus freaking. Alright. Alright, because you're up. Is there music in the scene? Of... Let me refresh. Huh? I need some it music is, in the scene. <laughs> he takes a bite out of you and you can, you can feel the fangs pierce into your, into your muscles and almost like you feel your entire body being crunched up slightly before being tossed out of his mouth to the side. And you you can feel that the open wounds in your body kind of like bleeding through now. I am getting annoyed. Ah, damn it. Hold on. Uh. You can do damage and run. Let me tank some of it. I will tank one first and then attempt signing strike again. Okay. I cannot. It hits. Uh, 15 DC. Yep. You need to add your 1d4 damage. Oh. Uh, that's not safe, right? It is in not, yes. He's stunned. He is stunned. You know what, I'm gonna attack again. Attack That's him again for... damage from the first strike, right? Yeah, yep. 10 plus 7 plus 3. You know, 20 damage. 20. Oh, yeah. I'll attack again for good measure because I'm pissed off at this T-Rex. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Can we roll that? It's a... Uh... Oh, never mind, it's a crit anyway. Why you want to reroll it? You're taking he's it? Stunned. He's stunned, so he is with advantage, right? I'm just gonna attack him la, with one. It's a crit, lah. It's a crit. crit. It's 2d4. D4 no. dice will double also. Oh. And oh, another one. Damn, damn. Two crits already. I need to ask you if you're doing. you. You didn't call non lethal uh. No, but I said from yeah. the start, I'm yeah. not trying to kill him. Okay. You plunge crim uh, crimson into his... Uh, kind of like his uh, leg, and you see he cry out in pain as he kind of goes down to both knees, and you swing, and you kind of... kind of like push the sword through its scales, as you kind of like make a visceral cut through its torso, as he falls to the ground, barely breathing, uh, is down. Interesting. Right. Well, it is out. Shall we mount and make ourselves very secure? Yes, I'm gonna take the opportunity. Are we out of combat already or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have, I have rope. I guess we can try and tie like a harness around him and hang on should be a lot easier, right? Um, we really? need to do this quickly. I think the 10 minutes on my Speak of Animals is running out fast. So I will help Arcus. Uh, I'll probably lay on hands. How much health are you missing? Uh, 21. I'll give you 20. Ah, oh, it hurts. <laughs> In a good way. Is the, does the T-Rex look like gonna bleed out? He looks really fucked. Right now. Um, when when we're all secure, I will heal it for like five, I guess. Okay. You heal for five, and you see the the wounds start to close. As you can see, it's breathing still extremely heavily and laboured. But is it conscious? Yes, yeah, conscious. I will use the opportunity to say, "Take us home to your friend, or I will make you." Oh. 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 Is, 
Is it trying to comply? Hello? Uh, help me. Will you help us or not? Uh. Say yes or no. Heal it for another ten. Oh, um, slowly picks itself up, lowers itself down so that you can get on top of it. Yeah, I thought we are on, on it already. Yeah. Oh on yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On the side, yeah. She kind of like picks itself up, and then you kind of like slowly lumbers through the forest. You can see it's moving towards the mountain tops in the distance. Alright, jumping back to Vervan and uh, Isilia. <laughs> well, Isilia sent a message, right? And tried to contact them. Yes. Well, after Isilia hearing the commotion, after hearing the commotion, right? And uh, can I what peer commotion? down? Oh, you heard it. The, the, oh, the lizards? Okay. Well, I'm gonna peer down into the terrarium. Is, can I see anything inside? You hear the lizard? And then it rears his neck every now and then, and then it, after for after a while, you see the lizard collapse on, and then beneath the tree line, and you can't see anything. And then after a while, the lizard stands up again. Mm. Seeing what I can cast. Nothing for now. Mm. I don't really want to dispel the magic, it's going to cause more trouble. Mm. And probably release all the tiny things that are inside out. Yeah, probably. So I mean, it's only we check in when the half one hour or half an hour. You're in charge of Isilia today. Okay. Over. Yeah, well, we'll keep watch. Uh, un until time is up, we're not doing anything. We were given like, what, a couple of hours, right? It would probably be an hour of radio silence. Hmm. Well, hmm. Just wondering, but like, um, if I look at the man and. Because I don't know how this works, right? Like, okay, well, I don't know how this works. I'm gonna look at the man and I'm gonna cast. You gotta look at person. Wait, let me see. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cast locate creature. Uh huh. On the man that is sitting down, and I'm gonna see if I can locate. Uh. That creature, which is that man, but not at that location. You get what I mean, like. Not somewhere else. Yeah. You are able to find this creature. Is you are it looking in... at you are looking well, at it sleeping in front of you right now. Well, I meant in, uh, in like not this. No. Okay. Like, I can't even feel him, like, in the terrarium? No. Okay, well... Celia and I will just keep watch. Not gonna touch anything unless I'm sure it won't destroy this entire city. About 45 minutes into your watch, uh, a knock on the door. Okay, who is it? I'm gonna check. It's the young girl, young sun elf. I thought, hey, my friends are still asleep. How long is this gonna last? I, I'm sh are they fine? Uh, uh, probably quite uh, quite a while. I, I brought something for for you and your uh, friend over here. Uh, I thought you might be hungry. She's oh, well, hungry? Well, I'm not really hungry, but 
more concerned about my friends. They've been inside there for quite some time. Maybe stuck think... there for. No, no. But the old man's been uh, the old man's been asleep for quite a long time too. <coughs> okay, well. <laughs> I'm more concerned about my friends. Is there any way I can just get them out? I don't think they want to be inside there for too but long. But they, they, they volunteered. Then she walks inside and closes the door behind her. And she sits down on the floor. Well, Isilia, I think they are kind of volunteering to leave now as well, right? I don't think they really like the inside of that place very much. How do you know then? Her face suddenly oh. turns uh, deadly serious. I don't know, we were just talking to them. You my friend here is a... My, yeah, my friend here is, is a... Uh, can use magic and she was talking to them using uh, a spell. Wow. Ah. She kind of like looks a little bit stressed. I should have thought about that. I didn't factor that in. Mm. Hmm. Well, either way, um, kind of looks like they're. Well, we don't. I don't really know what's going on, but is this something that's gonna expire eventually? Like, are they just gonna be able to leave, or? If she tells me what I need to know, they'll be able to leave. I see. Um. Well then, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. So what did you bring us? What did you bring me and uh, Celia? Uh, I brought you some uh, bread and cakes. Bread and cakes. She kind of like un unwraps this cloth package and there's a wooden box inside and then she un opens the lid of the wooden box and there's a like freshly baked bread and like some small cakes that look quite delectable inside okay i'll hold on to this we'll have some later maybe use some tea i see you have a shield too i do yes but it's a it's an ordinary shield nothing special about it does the work though the work of who well, the work of defending <laughs> myself, um, if needed. Which god do you speak for? I speak for a martyr. And I show her the crest that is sort of like blocked by my long beard. Do you believe? I do, wholeheartedly. Do you, be you believe in your god? Of course I do. Will he protect you? I sure do hope. And I believe he will. So, if you were dying, he would help? Supposedly? Well, I mean... Some... Well, the, the way my... Friend, well, if I... She looks at this area, if your friend here was dying, he would help? I think for a second, and I sort of def mm, well, I hold my ground, and I reply to her like in a sort of a stern fashion. Well, I hope that he would, and I don't believe my friend here. Um, I I don't believe she's in any danger at the moment, so I'm not very worried. She's not in danger. Well, I look at Acelia, is she, is she in danger? Hard to tell, she doesn't look like she's uh, focused on this conversation to right now. Okay, well then, yep. She looks fine right now. Can I get inside check this, this little girl? Does she seem yeah. threatening? Yeah, sure. Uh, behind her thinly veiled threads you get a sense that this small girl uh, is not threatening uh, like mindlessly there's a lot of confidence that's backing up her 
her words and you get the sense that she's toying with you almost and uh, she might present the guise of this innocent child but you you have a, you, you get the feeling that she's extremely wise and she knows exactly what she's doing um, well how about you what god do you believe in if any uh I don't really believe in gods. No, I'm. That's fine. <coughs> For some people, it gives a lot of direction, but um, you know, there's a lot of people who don't believe in gods as well. I feel like. Don't you feel like devoting your whole life to someone who chooses? when to answer your call, chooses when to provide you aid. Don't you think that's almost suffocating? Don't you have any ambition? Don't you have any, uh, what do you call it? Free will? Devoting your entire life to this thing and she gestures at your shield I just question the purpose of it well it gives me a lot of direction I didn't have much when I was growing up and it gave me a lot of purpose in life and I feel like it's part I of my duty I didn't have much growing up as well and my brother gave us direction Oh, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure you felt like you owed, when you were given direction, you felt like maybe you owed something back to them. And that's how I feel about my god. I don't own anyone anything. Okay. Well, for me, I feel like I owe my god something, and I'm just doing fulfilling my duty. To what end? When will you ever be your own person? To will you end? always be Mr. Bear, the follower of whatever god? Until this path leads me astray? Or do you want to be Mr. I think Bear, I'll... a figure, a figurehead, a man strong enough to stand for himself? Instead of relying on some being for power. Well, I'm very much fine with where I am right now. Until this path leads me astray, um, I continue to believe in my God and that's just part of faith. Need you to Hona. Uh, with some saving throw, please. Okay. Would he technically be within 10 feet of me? <laughs> no. The aura is not active now. When you're asleep, your aura is not up, right? I think you mentioned before. Right? Safrit? Safrit? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, the mic's muted. Uh, in if I'm unconscious, yes. Don't know yep. how you rule that. Yeah. Unconscious. 
you don't see anything but she says your god seems to be quite upset with you very contradictory with what you're telling me I mean I sense that you've upset him many times Indeed. are you at odds with the being that you claim changed your life well the current where I'm currently at right now I feel like there's a lot I need to make up I feel like I've not really done a good job with being a follower of Ilmata and that's just honestly me honestly speaking things are not always gonna go great and I've at least come to accept that let's speak again do I know did, do I know if she did anything to me no okay <clears throat> Oh wait, either way, yes, you know. I know, okay. Yeah, I you, you feel that. like, you feel there's like a, a sensation pr uh, kind of like running through your mind. It feels okay. strange. Well, uh, she says, let's talk again in private. Perhaps after you're done with this whole debacle, maybe when your friends when you realize that your friends are not coming back so soon um oh okay well I I'm sure you know where to find us I don't need to I tell you I could look for you or you could find me where she scribbles on a piece of paper and hands it to you okay Is she gonna leave? Yep. If you flip open the paper, it says second floor, dark bedroom. I see. Okay. I look back at Celia. I look at the bread and stuff that she bought us, and I'm gonna cast detect poison and disease. There's nothing. Okay. Well, let me consume this spell slot. There's nothing. Okay. Um. Oh my god, how are we going to get them out? Um, when Isila did uh, detect magic on them, right? All the bodies, they were under trans... What, enchantment? Enchantment. Magic? Enchantment, right? Okay, I'm gonna wait at least. I'm gonna wait at least one, uh, maybe half an hour more. It's already past yeah. like the timing. I'm gonna ask Isilia to send like another message to cipher it, and to ask for you can like, phrase an the message. Okay. Um, how's it going in there? Should we try to free you guys, or are you guys making progress? Try to find a man. Ah, uh, you, you you hear like. You hear me like uh, speaking in a strained voice, uh, strained mental voice, uh, but you can't really hear what's going. You can't really tell why, and you hear like, oh, "We're we're on our way to to meet the old man. We're gonna need uh, more time. Don't don't try to get us out. Maybe maybe two hours more, one hour more. Check back in. Two hours, okay." Uh, DM, could I say that like? In in if if I'm gonna like AFK for two hours, right? Could I like go out to the temple and buy holy water? You could. You could. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave Isilia behind and go and get some holy water. 
All right. How much is it? Is that all you're gonna do? Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. You can, you can do other. You can buy things as well if you like. I mean, you can do I other stuff. You can do other stuff if you like. Let me check how much holy water is. Twenty-five gold. Okay, I'm not gonna do other stuff for now. Okay. Twenty-five gold. It does nice. take the remainder of the day, so it's gonna take them a good eight, nine, eight hours more to get there. So you have eight hours downtime essentially. Seven. Oh my god, okay. If you keep checking in on them, I'm sure you get a similar reply. Okay. You can tell me what you like to do. I'm going to jump to the three of them first. Yeah, I'll, I'll, it, it, I'll it, get back to you after two hours. By all calculations, the three of you, it should be evening. Now, according to your calculations and like whatever but it does not seem like the sun is setting in this terrarium in fact it does not seem like the sun is moving in this terrarium the sun seems to have a fixed position in the sky and it never moves there is no night interesting you bubbles brings you up this large mountain path and sets you down in front of this large cave that as you approach you can hear almost like the droplets of water dropping down from the stalactites above there's this musty smell of burnt wood and dried food hanging on the walls you see almost these this shoddily made kind of like bit row that's kind of been slept in multiple times and damp from the moisture in the cave adorning the floor there's this long kind of like line of almost like what appears to be different kinds of bones different kinds of skin different kinds of uh livers, organs of different kinds of animals, all kind of like hastily preserved or rotting in some way, shape or form that are lining one side of the cave the cavern wall you see almost like inscriptions on the wall like almost like someone is trying to make a map of this entire terrarium there's this huge circle which kind of documents and you see there's like mountains drawn at the northern point there's uh, different points and uh, different landmarks which depict the different areas that you've been walking past as you are approaching this mountainside. And in the middle of it all, an uh, old man with what appears to be a very long staff. And he's leaning against it. He looks weary and tired. His beard and his hair dull and grey. method with sweat and dirt is it the old man that i had a conversation with he looks worse for wear but yes i'll call out to him like eh, seen uh, seen better days eh? what what are you doing here no no, the important question is what are you doing here? Are you here to help me first? Are you friend or foe? Well, it depends. Enemy of my enemy and all that kind of stuff. But we are enemies of the eight. In fact, we have... What is the eight? You know that little girl that put you here? The one with the fancy shield and the irritable attitude? Yes. She belongs to... The court of Arkfey. The Hollow Court. There are eight of them. Or at least... There were eight of them. Seven, now that we are done with one of them. You and, are uh, here. You must 
One of you must be a spellcaster of some sort, yes? Uh, what makes you say that? That's the... She casted some kind of spell to get in. If the three of you are here, it means that you cast a spell to get in here, right? Oh no, she sent us in here to talk to you. Oh, fuck. Do you have a focus of some sort? Only the divine sword will this do? I hold out my holy symbol. No, 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 no. We need an arcane focus. Well, let's start with my original question. You now know that we are enemies she of the She wants to know about the lines. Lines? The lines for the walls, the Shan wall. I immediately. He's not an elf, right? No. I immediately uh, question how do you know about the Shan wall? You do realize that way back then, the, when the Everesca was conveniently ripping off the Netheril. Technology, fundamental magical theory. They were not the ones who came up with this idea of the Shan War. They conveniently stole it from Netheril. You do realize that, do you? Don't you? You sound personally offended. Are you from Netheril? No, but I am a ardent fan of their work. And does this ardent fan of their work have a name? You may call me Potaya. Oh, damn. Oh, that's it. Oop, sorry, it's not T-Rex, right, but it's Potaya, yes. <laughs> Alright, um... Cyphrid, this is Corvus. This is Argus. I think we started off on the wrong foot, but like it or not, we have a common enemy and a common goal. Listen, I cannot give them the information that they need. Which is why you have to free me so that I can run to the corner of the world where they may never find me. So that I can keep this information safe if I give them the information that they need. And they break the Shan wall, they... What is the Shan wall hiding? What are they really after? I don't exactly know why they want to break the Shan wall, but I'm... what is behind, I, I can only assume is what remains of Netheril. How did you come into this knowledge? If, just give me... If... You... Take the most advanced civilization in the world, take the most powerful magic the world has ever seen, bury it, lock it behind magical barriers, years, centuries, decades, enough time for anyone to go insane, enough for anyone to go mad with vengeance. Revenge, what you want to call it. Who do you think your netherese would destroy first if they were released? They would start with Everesca, naturally. Probably fuck up the entire world after that. Destroy every single city. How do you even know they're still alive beyond that wall?
day. I wouldn't put anything past them. Fair enough. They built flying cities. Flying cities. Something that we can't even comprehend in our day and age. Do you think locking them up and denying them food and water is going to stop them from surviving? That's fair, that's fair. How did you run into that girl anyway? She found me. What, are you famous or something? I've been building this terrarium. That's literally all I do in my free time. I came here to retire in solitude. Building the terrarium that tracks. You took bubbles from the magic shop to be a part of this terrarium? Yes. Before or after it was in this size? I needed to make him a little bit smaller, but yes. Huh. What were you doing before retiring? It's complicated. Seems like we have nothing but time. Had a wife. She died. She was pregnant when she died. I died during labor. Kid came out. I was busy with my work. I was a shit dad. It was a really bad dad. And you can see it starts to tear a little bit. I couldn't give my son the life that he wanted. He was one, and I was working on working on what you're standing in, and I didn't have a human test subject, so I tested the magic on my son. I him in here. Mocha filth? He nods. He nods quietly and looks away. And now you're here to join him. Why do you need a... Uh... Spellcasting focus. I can get us out. There is a back door that I built into this terrarium. It is beneath the waterfall or behind the waterfall below this mountain. I need an arcane focus. And if uh, we brought you one, you are sure because it means one more person in here with us, and if you can't get us all out. I can get us out. All of us. Yes, I can get us out, but... If that girl is out there, she's just gonna kill us all. <laughs> yeah, well, if the girl's not out there, she's gonna kill us all anyway. I hope you know that. Get me out, I'll get you out, you get me out of the city. Deal. And your son? He... He's happier here. He's never known a life before this. I've seen him. I watch him. But sir, uh, I'm not sure if you call this a life in here. Has friends. So you're gonna abandon him again? I'm not a 
cut out to be a dad. Okay? Look. It's not. It's just not who I am. He's better off here. He's safer here. With bubbles. Better off with bubbles. I mean, he is positively terrified of. Look, bubbles won't hurt him. You don't get to play God and make these decisions. Do you want to get out or not? What was her plan locking you in here? Or does this get her what she wants? He was hoping I would probably go man. She said she could play with me as long as she needed to. She said, I'm like, I quote her dolls. So what? She's just gonna let you die in here? She would never let me die. What is the magic that holds us here? You seem so sure that you can break it. She's effectively separated your consciousness and created a physical likeness in this world very high level enchantment magic is that what you did with I... your son my son is physically here his consciousness and his physical body are here He's been shrunk down. That is different from enchantment magic. And you could reverse this if you wanted to. Bring him, make him normal sized again? Yes. I could, but I won't. Like I said, you don't understand. He is better off here. Not really for you to decide. You don't understand. He will not survive a day out there. Why? It's young. He's not like the rest. Rest of Be more specific. He has a condition. His mind works differently from the other children. He was born with a condition. Kind of condition? He's dull. Okay? Seems perfectly capable of being independent. Which is why he is better off here. Would you want a boy like that? In a world that would judge him for not being able to speak any Whose language. fault is that? I tried to be a dad. I am not cut out for it. I have said many times before, if you would like to take on the responsibility of being his parent, I will bring him back and you make it take him and bring him on your merry way. I am not taking responsibility for this child. We'll get you out. I'm taking the terrarium with me. And you'll leave instructions on how we can free him. And in such a time where it's appropriate, many we will. people will be able to undo what I have done. Then you're just going to have to make yourself available when the time comes. He thinks for a while. What's this? Fine. 
Hmm. I have nothing more that I want to say to this person. I guess the next time Celia checks in, I will explain that they should bring in. Uh, uh, I'll ask. Is the only way to what happens if our friends outside dispel the magic on our bodies or on the? You have friends who want to dispel the magic. Uh huh. Please tell them to not do anything like that. They From my understanding of what I understand of the spell, if she, if you break the magic, your consciousness is lost here forever. Your f your form here stays. Your body outside. Well, <laughs> poof, becomes a lifeless husk. But you can break it? I'm not breaking the spell. I have a back door that allows our consciousness to escape. And return to our bodies. Yes. Fair enough. What do you know about this girl, Vidya? I don't know shit about her. She just came, came knocking in. on your door one day? Came in one day, pretended to want to sell me cookies I said, yeah sure, come in Come in Came in, said Hey, this terrarium is really nice I told her about it, told her all about the, the things inside Explained to her Said that one day maybe, you know, you grow up and you could do magic as well And make your own and then POOF from asleep She didn't even ask you about the sun wall and she just put you in here? When I was in here, her overbearing voice told me all that I needed to know. She already knew who I was, she already know, knew what she wanted. Pretty well informed. Still pretty unclear what you did in your life before this. I'm just a very well learned man. Let's just put it that way. What do you know about this writing on the wall then? And I will ask him about the you know the, the three of them, one with the teeth, one against the blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. When the Shan War was created, it was to the understanding was that Netheril itself had uh, sunken, had uh, breached, if you will, uh, broken rules that uh, did, what did basically result in his own self-destruction. The arrogance of uh, so to call it Netheru itself uh, wound up destroying or altering uh, the, a large area around it uh, the, the what the most people now call Anorok uh, they were <coughs> exploring technology if you will that uh, did not quite uh, make sense at that point of time uh, planar travel and there was a realm that Netheril discovered that led to its fall when discovering it it invited if you will creatures into our realm that had to be locked away. This uh, Shan wall 
was not made only to lock out the Netherese. It was a convenient way for Everesca to silence not only its greatest rival, but as well a uh, ancient evil, if you will. Did this realm have a name? Yes, it is. Let me open my note. Continue first, and then I will find it for you. Ah, uh, the realm is it? You want the realm name or the name of the creatures? I mean both, oh, I guess. Yeah. I mean he has he. We asked him to explain the writing, right? Uh huh. So there's a mention of three walls and creatures with eyes, teeth, and con one conspire, and then the message just ends off with. An incomplete sentence. Mm -hmm. so I guess what we can learn as much as possible. If you are asking me, the it looks like the one, the thief one, looks like it might refer to the fade rim. Do we recognize the name? It could be. Uh, I, not you. I don't think. This T Rex is law dumping on us. <laughs> Very knowledgeable T Rex. Uh, Fae Rim. Uh, creatures with this huge maw of teeth and uh. Very well known for being a extremely uh, powerful magic using creatures. Uh, not of this world. Uh, usually, and actually not usually, but us malevolent and highly intelligent uh, aberrations. Uh, usually found. Uh, in the buried realms. Buried realms, eh? Very anonymous. Is this the name of the realm? That's what they call it. The one with the eyes? Are they from the buried realms as well? He shakes the, the one with the eyes, I pff, wish I knew. Listen, if the Netherese are still alive, if they are still alive, and I fully believe they are, most likely, probably at war with the Phaedrim. In some way, either they've won or they've lost. If they've lost, you deal with the Phaedrim. We have the Phaedrim are alive. If they've won, well, you have the Netherese to deal with. What do you know of the Yellow King? Is he related to all of this? Think about him. I listen. I'm here, came here to live quietly away from the eyes of the pretty much everybody. And somehow, you f you three found me. Young girl with magical powers found me. I have no idea. Honestly, I don't know what's going on. 
Well, we weren't looking for you, we were looking for bubbles, so... Maybe shouldn't have stolen the lizard. Lizard was very cute, okay? And I thought it would be a nice addition to my terrarium. I address my wounds and say, agree to disagree. <sighs> You've been protecting me well. So what? We get you free. What's to say she won't find you again? Get me away, get me somewhere safe, and uh, I'll help you with the terrarium when the time comes. Get me somewhere safe is the key. Can I take it that you're not capable of defending yourself? I am very capable of defending myself, but if this girl can put me to sleep and cast such powerful spell, she is beyond me. Here we were hoping that you could maybe help us defeat her. Look, I'm not about to go fight someone who can separate consciousness from body for an indiscriminate amount of time. But you're not about to really necessarily have a choice when the time comes, can you throw down or not? Yeah, can. what's to say she's not gonna find you again? I plan on uh, fleeing very 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 far away. Like, another, another plane far. Do you know where they came from? No. Maybe Syfrid, you should share. I don't think planes I'm gonna are stop beyond them, their reach. Yeah. They're planes walkers as well. Well, I won't stay in one place for too long. Yeah, well, um, I don't have any... I'll just wait for a silly. Well, then, in the next hour, two hours that happens, uh, you get a ping. Isio gets a ping with a message from Cypher, which goes like Cypher. Uh, it's just like um, we found him. We're trapped. We need an arcane focus to get out. I don't know how you're going to convince. Lydia to send one of you down here with an arcane focus, or maybe you could trick her. Uh, I to. I no, no, that's not a good idea. It should be one of you to come down. It seems I don't longer know. than twenty-five words, but is message twenty-five still or the sending? It's sending. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, it's been a couple of hours. First, first things first. I'm gonna have the. After finding out it has no poisons that I'm gonna have to the Oh I'd also tell them do pastry. not dispel magic. Oh okay, yeah I'm gonna have yeah. the pastries that she gave. Okay. They taste really good. Damn, okay. Um Well Celia, it seems like we're gonna have to find some way to get down there. At least you get down there, Isilia, because you have a focus on you. And let's see, what what can we do? Alright, let's go pay her a visit. Might need to think about how you're going to get... I'll give him our location at a mountain, wherever, whatever. Um, okay, actually, can I look... Can I see the mountain? If I look into the terrarium that that cipher is yes. working on, is the terrarium something I can reach into, or is it covered? Oh, it's sealed by glass. Is there like a round dome? Okay, I'm going to. Let's see. Oh, I want to see Celia's sheet. What spells does she have prepared? 
<laughs> I suppose I should have prepared. I'll yeah. read out to you. Okay. Message. Firebolt, shocking grass, press the initiation. Mage hand, feather fall, detect magic, magic missile, find familiar. Absorb elements, shield, mage armor, identify. Mirror image, misty step, detect thoughts, ray of enfeeblement. Maximilian's Urden Grass, Mind Spike, Fireball, Slow, Blink, Counterspell, Sending, Watery Spear, Oti Looks, Resilient Spear, Polymorph, and Enemy Objects. Okay. I'm just wondering if Isilia can even try to, like, summon her magic hand inside the terrarium. Like, a very, very tiny magic hand. Um, if you ask her to try it, it does not work. Okay. Well, see, that looks like we're gonna have to get in somehow. Uh, I can't dispel the magic. What if I break the enchantment? You said, don't dispel the magic. Yeah, well, I'm not dispelling the magic, I'm breaking the enchantment. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's the difference? What could go wrong? Okay, she, she said that I can meet her at the dark bedroom, right? The second floor? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am going to, when the time is opportune, if it's like in the evening, I'm gonna go there. It's evening wait, right I'm, now already, so. Yeah, okay, then I'm gonna go there. If you're gonna so wait, I'm gonna uh, long rest. Uh, the three of you may long rest if you are resting already. Go to uh, the actually, one of you not even have an arcane focus on you, like at least. We look like spellcasters. That's true. You have focuses, but not of the arcane type. Actually, before I long rest and while we were talking, I want to take a look at the map that um, Otaya has carved onto the walls of the cave. Yeah. Anything of note? Uh, yes. Uh, there is what appears to be, uh, this kind of like mine, if you will. Uh, or cave look like looking at it. There is a mine cart in front. And there is this group of what appears to be men with angry faces or stick men with angry faces in front of it uh, that is what appears to be uh, another cre that is obviously uh, Mukafilf and there is a tree house at the southern end and then in the western end there is what appears to be a uh, kind of like a stick figure with blue skin I'll ask Potaya, you trap other people here? After my son, yes. yes. What end? I mean, what end? Why bring them here? I mean, like, the world is better off without some people. What are they? It's a band of rogues. This one, he points out at the, the one, the mine. They, what, they robbed and raped women. I and was building. I was building an eco. Have you ever heard of a vivarium? Have you ever heard of a vivarium? Do you know what a vivarium is? Or is your mind too simple for the, 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 such a complex idea? A vivarium <laughs> is a... It, it's an ecosystem of plants and animals living together in harmony, self-sustaining, right? So, have you ever seen a vivarium but with one further step? Humans. What if 
you could build an ecosystem with humans self-sustaining thriving doesn't seem like your motives align so what you trapped those people here because they were evil yes the world won't miss people like them if the world won't miss people like them What's to say life in here isn't better than outdoor? Ruckus things for a bit. You know what? You're right, I couldn't care less about who you trap here. So what are they doing there? How are they contributing to this ecosystem? Right now, from what I understand, they live out of the mine, they hunt, they kill. They are the second tier of apex predators in this ecosystem. After second bubbles? Mm -hmm. Second only to bubbles. When you have uh, creatures, herbivores, omnivores, carnivores, you need apex predators to thin the pack. Are you thinning their pack? Who? Are you thinning their pack? Their pack? They haven't lost a single person yet, no one's died. Yet, yet. What's that yet? How long I have they can't been? continue building this vivarium if I'm not out there. Anyway, I don't get to build this anymore. I have to build a new one because your friend wants this one. Let's be clear, she's he's not our friend. What? He's not your friend then why are you with him? Wait, what? Cypherit wants this one, right? that's what he said. Oh. Oops, I must have missed that. Yeah, Cypherit asked for this, that was, that was part of the deal. Oh. Hmm. You don't understand yet you've not seen you imagine building a world imagine crafting stone crafting grass with your own hands building this beautiful land and then filling it with living creatures and filling it with your own you know animals and uh, birds and sex and all that and then eventually seeing it come to life being able to see these creatures interact. It is a feeling that I cannot put in words. Yes, we get it. You are megalomaniac. Whatever you want to call it. Okay? I don't... I... I mean... You do you, man. Sure. Sure. Hey, he walks away. Hey, wait. Circling back to the Shan mm. Wall. Mm. If the information you hold is... Key to destroying or breaking the barrier in the Shan Wall. What does that mean exactly? Do you know the method to destroy it or to 
I know the lines where certain intersections of the wall are made. There are certain points in this Shan wall where there are there is inherent weakness. The wall is not perfect. The Everescans did not have the complete concept, the complete knowledge that the Netherese had. There are points in the wall which are slightly flawed from the outside. With the right amount of pressure, the entire section could collapse. For example, uh, it could be as simple as striking off a rune. A simple rune that uh, was placed at the section of the a wall as a, if you will, conduit. Would it require anything special or magical to strike such a rune? From what I understand, usually these conduits are placed in very hard to access, hard, inaccessible locations if you will. That in itself provides almost a natural security to it. In addition, very heavily guarded, another. Uh, does not require any form of uh, special equipment, if you will. Uh, ordinarily, just breaking the, the rune itself with a blunt or heavy hammer or sledgehammer would do. These locations, how many are there? I know perhaps of two right now. We'll break we're breaking one compromise the entire shan wall? It will compromise a large section which is bad enough. If the grey cloak kills one of them? That the one I'm not sure there is one in Menzo Baranzan. Stop. Stop talking. What? I said stop talking. Okay. This is not information that is safe for us to know. He rolls his eyes, your friend asked. You seem perfectly willing to give it up. Turn. I'm not gonna die. If I help you, you help me get out, right? That's the deal, oh. right? Oh yes. Okay. So why would I bother hiding anything from you? I plan on leaving this realm as soon as I can. I don't care who I speak to at this point. If that's the case, why didn't you just give Vidya the information and leave? Do you honestly think she's going to let me leave? I see the glint in her eye. I see the, the evil in her eye. I'm sure you've seen it. You've heard her speak. Do you honestly think she's gonna let me go after I told her what I want, what she wants to know? Do you honestly think she's gonna let the three of you walk out of here? No, I don't. Which is why... Which is why I'm hedging all of my bets with three of you, hoping that I can get out of this fucking shithole alive which is why we're also telling you the best your best chances is to get rid of her not running mm. 
I do not intend to fight unless I absolutely have to. Let me make that crystal clear. Absolutely have to. I plan on running as fast as I can the moment I get out of here. I just nod. Okay. Corvus and Cypher, anything else? For me to pay a visit to the it is time for you, it will be the last thing we do. Okay, I head back to that the place with Vasilia, the dark bedroom where um, well, the, uh, where we saw that guy that, that got thrown out, right? Yep, and I'm gonna stand outside again, cutting the line probably. and I'm um, gonna what talk to the, the line. There's no line. Didn't you say that there's a line to this place in the evening? No, the dark no. bedroom doesn't have a line. Caesarean Palace has a line. Oh, wrong place. Wait, is it okay if I retcon and add something to tell uh, Bourbon? Yeah. In message? Yeah. Or rather, it's Sylvia than to Bourbon. Yeah. I would say go back to Maeve's sanctuary and ask her if she could undo the minimization process. Oh. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna hit... Instead of heading to the dark bedroom, I'm gonna head to the... Um, pet... the pet store. Maeve's Enclosures. Maeve's Miniature Menagerie. Yes, Maeve's Miniature Menagerie. Okay, the halfling woman with the dark curly hair sits there uh, and then uh, she can see her eyes and her lips and eyes are lined with a very dark green makeup today and she greets you with a very wide child-like grin. Hey! Welcome back! Did you find Bubbles? Um... Uh, well, I didn't find Bubbles. But I think my party mates there, they're kind of in a bit of a pickle at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if you know anything about this, but they are, they sort of just all fell asleep and now they're stuck inside the terrarium. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, how, how do I... is there any way to get them out? Well, I don't know. I've never heard of anybody falling asleep and ending up in a terrarium before. No, well, they didn't fall asleep in inside it. Like, they've. There's some spell that was cast on them and they got transported in some way to this terrarium. Uh huh. Where it okay. seems like Bubbles is, is inside there as well. Wait, Bubbles is inside the terrarium? Well, I'm not sure what if did they you found... bring the But why did you bring the terrarium here? Why don't you come and see the terrarium? I'm not sure I can bring it here. It w uh, do you could I like remind myself? I like, uh, could I try to recall? Like, is it even possible for me to bring the terror? Or is it like way too big? You could. It's not way too big. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, you, would you not want to leave and come see the terrarium for a bit? Uh, I. The store is kind of open. Why don't you bring it over and then we can have a look at it together? Okay. I'll take the trip back and try to bring the terrarium over. It is quite a long journey and as you travel outside with you and Isia both holding the terrarium and you shift it along, the entire 30, 20 to 30 minutes that you're walking to Maeve's mini, uh, miniature menagerie, the entire time, for so imagine the three of you inside. 
it's like a 20 to 30 minute earthquake <laughs> with blaring sounds of people talking Cypher, can you tell them to stop whatever they're doing? I, I'm trying I to rest con- here I can't contact It's the only that she has to contact me first if... God damn it, whose genius <laughs> idea was this? Okay, yeah. I'm you hear, you I'll, ask, I'll ask P- Putaya to use message to send, send a message out to Isilia so, yeah, With what do. focus? With what oh, focus? God. You, you actually need a focus for a country. Yeah it's screwed. Screw it. I'm just gonna find like the sturdiest, least crumbly corner and try and yeah, I'm just gonna protect myself. He's just going to approach. Just hear things like you can just hear shit like apples for sale, apples for sale before you hear things like yo, do you hear the news this morning? And there's like lots of shouting and screaming from different people like non-stop like the entire time, and then because being in a cave just like amplifies the sound even more. You know what? I'm gonna. The cave is like just shaking non stop. I'm gonna expend two key points to cast silence on myself. <laughs> okay. It doesn't really stop the shaking, but at least the yeah. sound stops. Yeah. Alright. Whether you bring the menagerie over, you put it down, and after Maves is done dealing with one customer, she walks over to you and says, This is amazing. How much? I'm not selling it, I just want to get my friends out. How much? Well, I I don't know, I don't own this terrarium. You would have to ask the owner, I think I think he, he's in there as well. I'll, I'll help you if you sell me this, I'll pay you 500 gold. Look, I can't be the one that sells this to you, this isn't mine. Do you want my help or not? I do want your help. Okay, How about I pay you? Gold. How about Shake. I pay you the 500 gold? To help? This? I'll pay you 500 gold and I'll do anything that you want. Okay, Isilia, can you can you contact Cypher and get can we get a deal going with the uh, the, the, the owner of this terrarium? Isilia, we're here. What are you doing bringing us out? You're putting us in danger. It's supposed to be to check if she can undo for the boy's sake. If Lydia finds her with this, we are all dead and we are permanently dead because our consciousness is severed. Oh, uh, unfortunately, you know, it's... Take We're us We're already back. here. Okay. I'm gonna... Wait, Celia gonna tell me all that, right? Yeah. Um... Well, May, if I'm, I'm... I think we have to leave. And... Uh, I... I don't know about that. And it's like you kind of like hold. This is holding the terrarium. It's like six hundred gold. Six hundred gold. Really? How really. about wait? We can talk about this when we are at a when we are at a better location. How about I pay you now to close shop and you can follow me? How about we just stick here because like the the stuff is here. Like if you need my help, the stuff is here. No, no, this isn't gonna work. It's very, Why it's highly dangerous. Work? It's it's Why very it dangerous? dangerous for us to I stay. I don't look. If you need my help, my equipment is here. I'm not bringing it out of the store. It's dangerous okay, to look, bring it out of the store. Look, can we just get them out? Can we just? Is there a way to like? Because they are they they are really small inside the terrain right now. My yeah, friend, yeah, I can get them out. Yeah, I can get them out. Well, I, you, I, you can get them out, but does that make them bigger again, or are they gonna stay small? Like, what kind of magic was used to turn them small? We, we can hear this, I right? Yeah. We are not freaking small, we are just separated from our body. I'm just screaming out. Uh, yeah, well, I, I don't understand this. this yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just like screaming at the Emerald Dome. Yeah, uh, uh, well, I don't know. They're just inside the, the terrarium. The old man looks at you it's like, why do you have an idiot running things from you outside? I, I did clarify with him that we cannot be miniaturized through message, by the way. I'll just want to say, no, it's okay. This is all Umita's will. Great, Umita brings me back for me to die just like that. Oh, God's working mysteriously. Well, continuing on, oh, well, I don't know, they're, just they're, don't work. they're really small inside the terrarium and their bodies are all back at this other location and 
I'm not sure what was used to put them inside, but it, it seems like they're in two places at once. Is That's there any way cool. you can like, reverse I can, this? I, I can reverse. I can reverse this. I'm pretty confident. Uh, it will take some work. I just need to figure out the uh, components of what the, the guy originally did. I just need to do a couple of experiments. I'm sure it's not a big deal. I'm hearing all this and I'm like, wait a second, wasn't she... Didn't she say she's not the one who made all these creatures small in the first place? Just asking Cyphrid. Yes! He asked her. Yes! I was just going to see if she could undo, like have some way to undo the process. Oh well, just, just to be not clear, they're, to be here. their bodies are still back at this other location and they're just inside the dry room. Uh, well, what's, gonna, what's it going to take you to fix this for me? I'll like the re reverse for free. the process I'll for, free? for free. Can I insight check this? Sure. <laughs> she genuinely mean for free. More like this. She genuinely, is she genuinely able to undo it. Mirror one. Genuinely means it. Okay. Um, how long would this take? Ooh, hard to tell. Like, give me a night. You a can night? Stay here. Uh, you can stay no. here. Can... No, 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 no. W would you, why don't you come and see the situation first? Then you have a bigger. You, no, have a, you have... I, Look, if you take this out of here now, right? Let me let me just say, okay. If you take this out of here now, okay. I don't know if I can help you. Honestly speaking. I don't trust you to bring it back. We have a deal, right? No, we don't. We don't have a deal. We don't have a deal? Then I can't help you if you don't have a deal. Well, I just want to be sure that my friends are, will be safe through this, I, through this whole process. Look, you can stay here the entire time. You can watch me the entire time. They'll be safe. I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do. You have to understand, I um, this this terrarium. It's it's dangerous to be seen with it. Yeah, that's why we're not leaving the store. I'm locking up right now as we're speaking. And she locked the door. Okay, I will believe her in this. Okay. We cool? Let me help your friends. But you got to give me the terrarium after you're done. You got to make me a deal on this. Meet me I... halfway. Can I ask Cecilia to message Cypher to check with the owner? Okay. Bro, I said my piece, man. Absolutely not. We I'll explain that we cannot do this the normal way because this is Lydia's magic. You need to go ahead with the plan on sending us the arcane focus and check with her. It's not to, it's not for our sake. It's for like. Our... Well, I want. I, the message was that if we, if you guys get out, um, can the terrarium be sold or given to to her? No, it's not. It's not for sale. We need to. There are, there are living things and living people in here and we just need to know if she can undo it. It's not well, it's... here for, to be part of some other mad person's agenda. Uh, it seems like they can undo it, it's just that... that it seems these... it's not good enough, there are more people in here than us. Okay, then... And I would like to stress that if we don't get out first, we are all going to die. Okay, then... Look, Maeve, I, I don't think this is a good idea to get them out. But is there any way I can put something in? Like how small? Well, this small and I will get Celia to show her her arcane focus. Uh... I've never made something this small before. Like... That's really small. 
I can make something like this small and she kind of like picks up like a, a rock off the table. But if I drop this in there, it's going to be like an asteroid hit, you know. Could you make the arcane focus smaller before putting it in? Yeah, I like, like I said, I can like make it this small and she holds up like a, a, a pebble which is like, uh, maybe like the size of your palm. Okay, well, I mean, an asteroid will uh, have Okay, not the, palm, the size of the palm, la, but like, you know, yeah, like, yeah, like in, how, in how my palm. Stone. Yeah, in your palm. Well, I mean, an asteroid would have to do. So, you want me to make it that small? Yes, I'll pay you gold for it. Alright. Here we go. I'm going. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, doable, to completely doable. Uh, it's 200 gold to shrink it. So we're shrinking it uh, from the size of like, let's say a water bottle down to the size of a pebble. Okay, 200 gold. Yep. Sure, I'll pay that. To get my friends out, I'll pay that. Okay. The arcane focus um, is if now. If would not be using her arcane focus, we are buying a separate one. Okay, sure, I will allow that. Now the focus is as big as the mountain. Okay, um, put, please put it into the area gently, gently. Last I'm hearing this. Night. I'm hearing this. And I'm all just of like you look up in horror as you see a hand lift. You feel like a rush of wind. Like kind of like enters the your atmosphere. Like you feel this huge gust of air just rush in as the lid opens up very quickly, and you see this huge blue gem descend upon and crash into the mountain, causing it to shake violently. Um, I look over at uh, Putaya and I like. It looks well. like that you bunch of. FUCKING MORONS! That's your arcane focus. And that's where we'll end for today. <laughs> well, she oh did her job, God. she put the focus in. It's 200 bucks, I'll take care of your inventory. Yes, I've please. taken it off. What? Let's see if we can use it next week. <laughs> Oh the other boy. option, the other option was to just to send Maeve in, not Maeve, sorry, Isilia. Marin is going to be very, very angry. <laughs> <laughs> she watches this. <laughs> She's going I... to be... Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, that was... Sure, we'll see if it works. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Let's see if it works. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just let me just stop the recording here.